Gang, going into new computer art tutorial today, and what we're going to attempt to accomplish is create a pointillist style image um, reminiscent of the pointillism style of painting uh, that came after Impressionism. And so, what you can see here is my example where I zoom in real close, you can see this image is composed of a bunch of really small dots of color basically. And so, we could do this with any type of image, but what I'm going to go for is the landscape, which is a popular subject of pointillism style painting. So to get this started in Pixlr, I'm going to toggle back to home here. In Pixlr E, I'm going to click Create New, and then choose my size from the photo options. I'll choose Landscape 10 by 8. We could title this Pointillism, and then click Create. Now that I have my window open here, I'm going to go over to my Google Image Search and take this snowy scene image here. Copy this image. I think it's important to say that you want to choose an image that has some color in it, right? So uh, images that are really dark, black and white, or limited color aren't going to work as well with this effect. Um, but some images, mostly landscape images with color, heavy color, or um, color saturation will be good to choose. All right, so now I'm going to take this image, I pasted it in, and I'm going to stretch it to the edges of my scene here. Once I have that, I'm going to duplicate this layer. So I'm just going to right click on this image. Or go over to my layer options here. Oh, there we go. I think I just had to click on the actual layer panel and then right click on the image to duplicate. So I have two copies. Um, on this top copy, I turned off visibility on the bottom one. On the top one, um, what we're going to start with is a few filters. And so first we're going to go to the adjustment levels and we're going to posterize this picture. What posterizing will do is make this look a little bit more like a painting where it just has layers of color. And so I'm going to pull this out to maybe five or six so that it's just kind of simplifying the areas of this um, picture into what looks like it could be more like a painting, right? Just blocking in areas of color. I kind of like that area five into six region. So I'm going to hit apply. And the next thing I'll do is I want to add some dots to this, right? So the other th filters we'll go into using will be in the filter gallery. And we'll so go to filter, we'll go to details, we'll add some grain. So I'm going to turn on grain and then bump this up maybe all the way to 100. So you can see some little dots of color start to appear in places here, and that just adds some more texture, which makes this seem more like a pointillist painting. And the other filter I can add, if I go to details, is I can add noise. So grain and then noise. And let's see. I don't know that I want to go 100 with this. 100 does create a lot of dots, but maybe I do. Maybe somewhere in the 80 region seems good. 100 almost seems like I start to lose quality of the image and it's hard to tell even what I'm looking at. So I feel like the 75 to 80 mark is probably good, but for depending on your image, you may choose a different level. All right, and now we're well on our way here. So after adding grain and noise, we'll also try to add a filter to this bottom layer. So I'm gonna turn off the top layer, turn back on this bottom, my base layer image. And the other thing I was going to do was add a filter to this layer. And the, that filter is going to be called the halftone filter. Now, halftone filter really just kind of like turns this image into a bunch of dots. Okay, so you can see if I turn the frequency down, it tries to simplify it into very few dots. If I turn the frequency up, it, it, it increases the frequency of the dots. And so I can really get a sense of this image as a bunch of really small dots. Now, I think that somewhere in here, is where my happy place will be, somewhere around 160, 150. I just want a layer, base layer, that's going to have some dotting going on to it. See, I don't want these too big, so I'm kind of really happy right in here, I think. Yeah, somewhere around this 165 mark seems good, where the dots are kind of in an in-between size, not too big, not too small. And I'll hit apply. Now let's turn on that top layer again, and what we'll want to do is make these blend together, right? These two images to really create a good picture. So I'm going to add a blend mode to this top layer. Click on the three dots here and go to settings 
and then we'll go to blend mode and there may be several of these that work depending on which image um, what kind of image you have and I think in mine I liked the hard light filter and so you can just see a little bit of that dotting of the halftone pattern coming through and then you have all your noise and kind of like grain on top of that. So when I zoom in really close here, you can see this whole image is really made up of a whole bunch of little dots now. Now really the last thing I need to make sure I do is crop off this open empty space. So I'll use my crop tool and take away that space of the canvas that I can see. And then that will be pretty much it. I'll hit apply and zoom back in here so you can see our final result. And there you have it, a pointillist style image use, uh, creating in Pixlr. So there we go, quick tutorial for today, but I hope you guys have fun and get creative with your own pointillist scenes.